What's up, guys <clears throat> and girls? Ladies and gentlemen. Um, I never did one of these videos before, but I just wanted to uh, come on here and and talk about one record in particular. Um, I guess we'll call it of the of the stoner variety, um, whatever genre. But uh, a lot of the a lot of guys know who Acid Bath is, and then a lot of people think that um, after Acid Bath that was it, and or a lot of people know that Dax Riggs went off and did his own thing, but what happened uh, immediately after Acid Bath was Dax and Mike Sanchez went off, and uh, both had an idea to slow things down a little bit more and they started something called Agents of Oblivion which I find to, to sincerely be um, they only made one record and it, I, I strongly believe it's one of the it's in the top ten uh, of my favorite records and I believe it's you know of of that genre of music it's most people don't know it exists and uh and furthermore, don't obviously don't realize um, what a special, special record it is um, as far as songwriting goes. And anyway, um, fortunately, they did put this record out on vinyl or uh, repress. Forgive the the poor quality of this video I'll get better but um this is a really nice LP um it comes directly from the label um a couple I think I got it for Christmas I believe 2017 so um so you know and they make it easy now guys you can go to Fucking, I think she found it on Facebook and just clicked the icon and go to Rotten Records. You're, we're all big boys and girls now. We can go to Google. We know how to do that. And you can go to Rotten and order this thing. And hopefully the band gets a couple of bucks out of this. They really deserve it. Um, this is a really, um, as far as the songwriting goes, you know, they, they're calling this type of thing Swamp Rock now. Which is, is, is kind of cool, because you could never identify, um, you know, Acid Bath. I mean, they kind of had a little bit of an industrial thing going on um, in their music. But, you know, with uh, Dax definitely coming out of that um, skinny puppy influence and stuff that he's, um, you know, most known for. Uh, I'll try to keep this video short. Um, I'll just tell a quick story. Um, I'm of the death metal variety usually um and i want to see this is back in 95 i think uh maybe 96 um i went downtown <clears throat> and they had a show in a small venue in a hotel with a band called pungent stench and uh so Never was a really big pungent stench fan, but um, it was cool they were coming to town. So, you know, we all go, and uh, and then the opening band is Acid Bath, and we see him get up there, and it's just, this, we saw the singer walking around. He was so out of his mind. I mean, he was definitely on hallucinogenics or whatever the fuck he was on. Man, he was he was on another planet in the back room. I mean, you saw him coming out, and you know, he was clearly white, whacked out. But anyway. They take the stage, and I didn't pay much mind, but motherfucker. Holy shit, I just, I wasn't prepared for what they were doing. I mean, I wanted to see the death model show, but I got taught right then and there what, how to, like, he just did that vocal. I never heard somebody do that um, up to that point, that effortlessly with the screaming and the singing, but being really able to sing. I mean, he could really, really sing, and he had his own identifiable voice. 
and uh, you can clearly tell that he was coming from a different perspective than some of the other members maybe writing the music that they were trying to to put out but whatever I'm speculating all that it doesn't matter Acid Bath was an incredible band um, I think it's kind of cool that it was short because they didn't leave any room to come out and put something out that that that, that wasn't up to par um, but anyway back to Agents of Oblivion it's, it's a completely underlooked record so um, you know, I think you can find this digitally now. That was really hard to find up until very recently. I mean, even YouTube, they, they you couldn't find it on there um, unless they charged you for it. But there was they they would rip that down as soon as somebody put that audio up. I had an original CD, fortunately, because I'm a little bit older and I was around for Acid Bath to be around, and I was around when and I was hungry for something when I knew Acid Bath wasn't available anymore. So I. Fortunately, am of the nerd variety, always have been of, of being involved in tape trading and all that stuff back in the um, early 90s and and just always being hungry to find out what's down there or what's out there before um, before somebody can come in and rip the music apart and, and make it sound, I don't know, just whatever producers do, just over-engineer shit and whatever they do so this sounds like a, a it's big it's a big sounding bluesy heavy emotional uh great guitar playing a fucking amazing vocal performance it's it delivers on all the melodic it delivers on ju uh, just great fucking songs man so just if you just need some really good fucking songs with some with some volume swells in it, you know the 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 album hits all spectrums. I mean, there's nothing really super fast on it. There's nothing for even anybody to really dislike. You know, it's heavy, but it's it's heavy now in this era where you know everybody's heard Metallica, you know, you know, or whatever. So you've been exposed to. Um, some some mainstream music that is, you know, of the heavier variety. So even if you got some people around, that so a lot of people, a lot more people would appreciate this in, in the in the larger spectrum. I'm um, thinking if it had the exposure, Rotten Records, I believe. I mean, as far as I remember, was bringing up you know a lot of the early hardcore and punk stuff, um, DRI and and stuff like that. So, you know. Um, I, being on certain labels could pigeonhole you in certain respects too. Um, this didn't, you know, this did come out on Rotten. I don't know if it originally did, but <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, who knows what exposure that got and what it, it clearly didn't get what it what it deserved. And you're gonna wait until I relight my cigarette because I was wasting my fucking breath. Yeah, I burn about that thing. Anyway, all right. That's enough. Thank you.